This is an orange. This is not the first time we have seen this kind of uh, obvious introduction of a food item. This is an orange. But we also have our old friend, Mr. Sleeping Warrior. Sleeping Warrior. This is an egg. He stated that that was an egg. Correctly so. <laughs> it's one of the few times he has been absolutely correct. And we have made fun of him so many times that, not in opinion, <clears throat> we don't have to do it again. But he did his egg what experiment. We're going to see what happens when this egg is dropped into here. Trying to disprove gravity. But we, I think, we did a really cool experiment with an egg proving gravity. Let's have a look at it because it's quick and sweet. But now it's all about oranges and actually my opinion is not uh, unfamiliar with oranges either here let's have a look at one of our first videos we ever made I used toothpicks and put them into an orange I measured the toothpicks and the length of the shadow that the top one gave Hence, I could calculate the circumference of the orange and then compare it to the actual circumference of the orange. And it turns out I was spot on with my calculations. And this is a copy of one of the famous experiments that uh, Eratosthenes did back in the day, proving that the Earth was round. But now, our good friend Flatsoid also wants to make a fool of himself and he, he claims that he also wants to disprove gra gravity just like Sleeping Warrior. The scientific method. He is going to talk about the scientific method. It's an empirical method strictly there to establish the cause for an effect observed in nature. And we are not unfamiliar with that either because uh, here in the very basic science book I have it's I think it's on page 13 or something like that in this gigantic book. The Bob. The big old book. Oh yeah, here it is. The scientific method as explained in this very basic book. Uh, basic. Let's see. It says it goes in the order of observe, question, hypothesize, predict, test predictions, and draw a conclusion. That is the classic scientific method. Mm -hmm. Now, flat soil and other flat earthers says it's not science unless you use the scientific method to the T. But that's actually simply not true. Scientists all over the world, they uh, practice science many times without this specific method. Sometimes you just have to try and make mistakes, try and make mistakes and come up with things by pure coincidence. Yep. Yep. That's how uh, things were made. Yep. Now, let's uh, look at Flat Sword's version of the scientific method before we get into the very interesting <laughs> orange experiment. Observe natural phenomena. When an object is no longer supported by someone or something, it will fall, accelerate downwards from the elevation to the ground. So this would be me picking up an orange and letting it go, and it falls to the ground. This is the natural observed phenomena. I'm going to drop it in uh, your hand. Plop! Yeah, seems to work. Something made this orange fall. Yeah. Um, you know, I would like to call it something. If not gravity, <laughs> so perhaps gravity. But flat soil's idea is that things move because of what he calls relative density disequilibrium. 
basically he thinks that whether something goes up or down depends on whether it's heavier or lighter than the stuff around it. He says things will move up or down until they find a place where they fit in, density-wise. No, I don't really get it. No. That's okay. You should not listen to this, really. Uh, do you mean that <laughs> things will go up if if, if this is... Uh... That's an... Ex I mean, I'm getting to it, but you can say it already now, because the air is less dense the higher up it comes, so yes. What, do you mean like a feather will float up? Yeah, or an orange. That sounds so stupid! Yeah. So, when we really think about it, this idea doesn't quite work. According to Flatsoid, if you had an orange in the air and let it go, it should float up because the air <laughs> above it is lighter. But that's not what's happening. <laughs> the orange falls down. Why? Because of gravity. No, I mean gravity. This shows us that it's not just about how heavy or light something is compared to its surroundings. <laughs> Gravity plays a key role, pulling things toward the Earth. Number two, we do research. What was the research based on this phenomenon? The research tells us that the cause for this falling acceleration is downward is from the concept named gravity. This concept is very vague and has no actual definition or cause for its origins. There is two explanations of this. Newtonian gravity, it's a force. And Einstein in gravity, it's not a force. Weird as they both contradict one another, but want to be used in the same pond. He says that the gravity is very vague as a concept and no one knows what it is, even though people have stu studied it <laughs> since the days of Newton. Another proposed argument is relative density disequilibrium. This postulation is based upon the uneven distribution ratio of the object and the medium that it is submerged in. The object's ratio depends on the medium determined by the relative... All right, so he has basically continues to talk about what relative density disequilibrium is. In a vacuum chamber, a bowling ball and a feather falls at the same rate. Please explain that, flat soil. Number three, we create the hypothesis. Since the consensus is based on gravity, we will hypothesize and experiment on them first. All right, so he has says... Here is my hypothesis for standard gravity, and here is my hypothesis for mm -hmm. the uh, weird, strange version of gravity that I just made up. Yeah. Number four, make a prediction. If I remove the mass of the object, in this case the peel around the orange, in the fish tank it will show, based upon the postulation, the orange will have less mass, and thus have less attractive force. This postulates that the orange will either remain at the same position, or it will go up, as the counterbalance forces will be stronger. As he says that he would remove the peel of the orange, and he says that now he has removed some mass, and that will make it less mass, and that will float up. That's what he thinks. Obviously, we know that in this case, mass has nothing to do with it. It is yeah. the density change that has something to do with it. It's kind of like if you uh, place a bowling ball in water, it will uh, sink. <laughs> and then if you cut the bowling ball in half, it will float. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Is that what he thinks? <laughs> yeah, like a tiny rock. Like that will still sink. If you cut the rock in half, it will still not float. <laughs> it will still sink because there is no air pocket in them. Oh my goodness. This is the orange. Let's submerge it in the water. Let's go to experimentation. Yes! Is an orange. Yeah, it's just an orange. It's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the test lab. Today we're going to see if this orange can defy gravity. You won't. But we're gonna test it anyway! <laughs> what do you think will happen when we put this into the pot of water? As you can see, it is floating. This is a bit counterintuitive, as you would think this is the structure where it has the most mass. I don't understand. How is this counterintuitive? <laughs> Some things float, flat side. <laughs> Maybe it 
could be the air bubbles in the pores that's holding this up. Let's clean the air bubbles off. See, we're cleaning it all, making sure that there is no air bubbles in, just as the control says. Nope, it's still seeming to float. Wait, 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 wait. does he think that the air bubbles are on the orange? Yeah, he um, doesn't seem to know that the uh, <laughs> this orange skin is is holding the air within the orange. What do you think will happen when we remove the peel, which is removing the mass? It's floating. It's floating. Very well. And and the reason it floats. It's because uh, the uh, orange is uh, less dense than the water. The main reason why the uh, orange is less dense is because of all the uh, air pockets that is created by the uh, peel of the orange. Yes, the skin. Yeah, the orange skin. In a, in a way, you could say that the uh, skin of the orange is actually the life vest of the orange. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> right? So what do you think will happen if we remove the life vest? Well, without a life vest, <laughs> you just sink. If you take off the life vest, you sink, you say. See, I'm cutting the pill off and we're going to peel it off so it has less mass. So less mass based on the gravity postulation uh, mean that the orange should now float easier or less submerged. Let's see what's going to happen when I've taken the peel off, which is now making it less mass and sticking it back into the water. Just waiting for me to pull all the uh, extra mass off. There we go. Looks nice and clean. Let's drop it in. Oh boy, we already see an issue. It seems to be lower. There's an issue here. Less mass means it's gone lower. Maybe there's some air bubbles still in. Let's just clean off again to give it control. Okay, got rid of all the air bubbles inside, which would give it buoyancy. I'm good with a knife. I've done knife things before. Have you done knife things before? <laughs> oh, that sounds satisfying. This was, this is the peel. It's appealing. Ah. <laughs> it had a weird little butt here. <laughs> a weird orange butt. Oh, like, if, if, if kids are watching this, they will laugh because you said butt. Yeah, kids are weird. Hey. Hey, you're a kid. <laughs> okay, so we have removed the, um, the life vest of the orange. Would you do the honors and putting it into the water, please? Yes. Okay, so the moment. Bye bye. It sunk like a. Uh, like Titanic. Like Titanic. Oh, <laughs> don't say that. It sank like a rock, right? Yeah, like a like a like a rock. So, all of a sudden, the orange became more dense because we removed the life the life jacket. We removed all of the uh, the, the uh, air bubbles. <clears throat> However, here's also an orange. You know, uh, for Christmas, uh, we put a lot of, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, lilies? Uh, Christmas things. Christmas flowers. Dried Christmas flowers into it. Yeah, now, do, do not this, eat. This particular orange only has those uh, flowers on one side. This would be how Flatsoy would see it. He would say, it's more mass on this side of the orange. So this would be drawn down. To the ground. Let's see if flat soil's deduction is correct. Let's have a look. And okay, so maybe I mean, it's just a fluke, but the uh, the things with the flower on went down. Let's. I'm just gonna turn it around here and say I'm gonna make it stick here now. Blink. What? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do it like this. Whatever I do, it seems like. Gravity is pushing the orange down, you know, the side of the orange that has these flowers here. Is that the actual cause of it? No, of course not. That's flat solid thinking. 
obviously the, <laughs> the, the, the correct answer is that here we have punctured all the uh, air bubbles. We have sort of taken away the life vest function on this side of the orange. And that's why it's not functioning as well in this side of the orange. And that's why it's behaving like this. I just wanted to add that obviously if you add more mass on the one side of the orange, much more mass, that side uh, will uh, obviously uh, flip, over. flip over and uh, um, won't float as good, obviously. Then we move on to analyze the results. After doing the experiment, we were able to observe that mass is not the cause for the acceleration between two masses. All right, now here's, uh, he's going to spend some time on analyzing the results and coming up with his erroneous conclusions. Uh, so we're going to uh, leave him there. Then we can move on to systematic experimentation. We can do this experiment in many different ways, such as changing not the object's mass, but the medium's density. We can use different density ratios and objects. We can use different types of liquids. We can change the temperature of the medium or object. At the end of the day, it comes down to proving the cause for the effect observed. But here's interesting. Here it comes to his seventh point of his own scientific method. Systematic experimentation. He says, we can use different density ratios in objects. We can use different types of liquid. But does he do that? No. Do we do that? What do you think? Does this float? It doesn't look like that. It has air bubbles. Doesn't have air bubbles, and right? it's and it's uh, kind of hard. It's kind of hard, yeah. So the peel here might not act as a life vest, but since it's floating anyway, uh, the apple obviously is less dense than the water. Let's see if we, what happens if we remove the peel. Would you like to do it? Yes. By peel. Now removed. The peel here as well. I'm not sure it's the same as the orange, uh, but would you like to give it a go? Yep, I'm gonna. <laughs> it's still floats. Okay, uh, and I have several pieces of apples. It still floats. It floats. It still floats. <laughs> we move on to eight, which you guys are doing right now. Peer review. Yeah, peer review. I mean, in his world, peer review means that uh, anyone uh, with a YouTube YouTube account uh, could peer review a scientific experiment. Normally, that's not really how it works. It's you know accredited scientists that sit down and and do that. And uh, I don't think that uh, the entire YouTube world, especially not the flat Earth world <clears throat> on YouTube, are accredited scientists. But I guess that you and me uh, are on the same level, I guess, as uh, Flatsoid. So we uh, will now do the peer review and we will redo your experiment, Flatsoid. And, Using? Uh, an orange! Yes. Ah. yes the the, the uh, apple is not a very dense fruit. Yeah. It has lots of... Uh, now let's put in the orange. See what some people. Oh. Some, right. pe some people think that this would have happened with the apple. Yeah. But it didn't. No. It does not. What we can say is the densest fruit is not floating. What a revelation. Yep. <laughs> okay. okay, now. Back to the studio. So. We have followed the uh, scientific method, both the real one and flat soy's version, and in both cases, yeah, good catch. <laughs> we we proved that gravity is still a thing. Now, what do we usually say? Thanks for watching. And keep, keep exploring. exploring. Orange. <laughs>